Hey, precious YouTube family. How are you? God bless you. It's Pastor Tony. I pray you're doing well. I love you guys. And I wanted to come on today and give you a sermon today, a Sunday sermon. So, um, get your Bibles out because we're going to be going through some Bible verses. Actually, quite a few Bible verses. And, um, you know, I put out a video a couple days ago and um, I asked... For you to put in the comments, you know, what what subject you'd like me to preach on today or to teach on. And um, got a lot of good suggestions. Um, some telling me that I should do a video exposing some of the false teachers here on YouTube. Others telling me I should not waste my time on that, you know, because we are in the end times and there's more, probably more important things to discuss. Um, but the one that really stuck out to me was a um, sister had given me a, a message telling me I should preach on love. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. We're going to be teaching on love. Um, as we get closer and closer to the rapture, closer and closer to the end times, you know, the love of many will wax cold, the Bible tells us. And you can see that all around you. I mean, you can just walk down the street and see that there's a lack of love, you know. And, and even between Christians, here on YouTube. Now, granted, we get a lot of the trolls that come on here, and you know, I deal with that every video I put out, as you know, others do. Um, but even between Christians, you know, and there seems to be a lack of love. Now, we I've said it before and I'll say it again. We can we can disagree on certain things, certain doctrines. I'm pre-trib, you might be post-trib. But we're still brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, there are things we must agree on. Those are must-haves, like there's only one God. Jesus is the Lord's one and only begotten Son. He died on the cross for our sins. He rose from the dead. He reigns in heaven. Um, you must repent of your sins. You know, the Bible tells us, um, you know, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world... And that'll be my first love verse today. That he gave his one and only begotten son. That whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Now Jesus tells us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. So those are things that we all as Christians believe in. And those are hardcore foundations in our Christian faith. We can disagree on other things. We can disagree on... Um, do you believe that the gifts of the Holy Spirit are still active today in the church? We can disagree on if you're post, mid, or pre-trib. You know, we, we can disagree on do you believe that there are still prophets? Uh, or did that die in the Old Testament? And, you know, we can disagree in those things respectfully and in love. But on most of these videos I watch, um, it's just you got Christians attacking other Christians. And it's just sad. So, hold on, I'm going to try that. There we go. Um, I got a new phone. My other iPhone died. And so I went out and got a new one. And so I'm making a video on my new iPhone. We'll see how this works. It looks pretty good so far. Anyway, like I said, get out your Bible. I'm going to be throwing a lot of verses at you. Uh, the Bible talks a lot about love. A lot about love. So, um, how you doing? You doing good? I'm pretty good. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm settling in very nicely to my new life, which is my old life back here in San Diego. I'm very excited to be going back to my church and so on and so forth. Getting back to my friends. I'm blessed. Anyway, um, get your Bible out. We're going to go through these. I'm going to go through these pretty quick because I've got a lot. I mean, there's over like I could give you over a hundred Bible verses on love, but I'm going to try to keep the list a little bit shorter. Anyway, um, get your Bible out. I already spoke about John 3, 16. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Very important. Proverbs uh, 10, chapter 10, verse 12. Hatred stirs. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all sins. Proverbs 16, 6 
through love and faithfulness, faithfulness, sin is atoned for. Through the fear of the Lord, evil is avoided. Proverbs 17, verse 9. And, and as you can see, there's, uh, there is a lot of love verses in Proverbs. And the reason for that is, is because Proverbs is the wisdom um, book. You know, it, it's um, Sol King Solomon was the wisest man to ever live. And, and he wrote all the Proverbs. And it is basically a book on wisdom. You know, and there are 30 Proverbs. 30 books, 30 chapters, and, you know, read one every day. You know, today was the 17th. Read Proverbs 17. Anyway, that'll keep your nose stuck in the Bible. Anyway, um, Proverbs 17, 9, whoever would foster love covers over an offense, but whoever repeats the matter separates close friends. 17, 9, right. Proverbs 17, verse 17 a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Um, now, before I get into a lot of other verses, I will cover over what I consider in you know many, many, many verses on love that I'm sure you've read. First Corinthians chapter thirteen. It's it's a short chapter. There's thirteen verses, and it's all about love. So let's jump into that. And, 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 you know, really let these verses go to your heart, you know, and if you are Christian, you are saved, and you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, these verses will, will, and can get to you, um, because we live in this fallen sinful world, you know, this fractured creation, and, and we're all human, you know, we all slip and fall, and... We've all become annoyed at times with others, angry with others, short-tempered, um, you know, very little patience, those kinds of things with other people. And so um, let, let, let the Holy Spirit fill you up with these verses, okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 13. If I speak in tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have a faith that can move mountains, but don't have love, I am nothing. If I give all that I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy. It does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where, are there, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child, and I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Which takes us back, you know, to... Um, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Love covers over a multitude of sins. That's why Jesus had his harshest criticism for the Pharisees. They, they obeyed all these laws and they kept them to a T, but they didn't have love. You know, the Bible tells us if you've 
If you've got all this other stuff, you've got knowledge, you know, you're keeping the laws, you've got all this, but you don't have love, you've got nothing. Nothing. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14, do everything in love. Psalm 143rd chapter, verse 8, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love. For I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Proverbs 3, verse 3 to 4. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Colossians 3, 14. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. 1 John chapter 4, verse 19. We love because he first loved us. When you talk about love, the love of the Father for us, to send his only Son. You know, let's take it back. I was going, I'm going to, here pretty soon, I'm going to, maybe even next Sunday, I'm going to do an entire lesson on just John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Let me ask you this. I don't have any children. But those of you who do have children, could you imagine giving your child up as a sacrifice for people you barely know? For people that you know is not going to believe in you. People that will hate you, spit on you, nail you to a cross, kill you, spit on you, stick thorns in your head, stab you. Would you give your child to save them? That's love. Let's keep going. Ephesians chapter 3. Verse 16 to 17. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love. Romans chapter 12, verse nine. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 15 to 16. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 to 26. Husbands, love your wives. Just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. John chapter 15, verse 12. My command is this. Command. This was not a suggestion. This is the Lord's command. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. I mean, look what Jesus did for us. Look how much he loved us. He died on the cross for us. He gave up his holy throne in heaven, which he's been there forever with his Father, the Lord, and the Holy Spirit. He gave that up to come down here, become a mortal man, live in a fleshly body in this fallen, sinful world. Can you imagine? He, I, I can't even imagine. It blows my mind. He had been with the Father and the Holy Spirit in heaven forever. 
and he knew coming down here what it was going to entail, what we were, what we were going to do to him, all he had to go through. And he loved us so much, he did that. Romans chapter 12, verse 10, be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves, honor one another above yourselves. Are you going on people's YouTube channels and nitpicking them? Are you pointing your finger at them? Are you saying you're not doing good, you're not doing this, you're doing that, you're doing that? Hey, I'm human, believe me, I've done that. Let the Holy Spirit convict you. Now we have victory in Christ Jesus. You don't have to live in, in guilt and shame. Tell the Lord you're sorry. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 5. May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. 1 John chapter 4, verse 12. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. And, you know, I could keep going on and on and on and on on, on love verses. But the last one I'll leave you with is this. John chapter 15, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Friends, brothers and sisters of Christ, we're going to get to spend eternity together in heaven forever and ever and ever so if your brothers and sisters here, them being human, you being human, we're all human. If they happen to say something that you may not completely agree with on YouTube, step back and take a look at the big picture and say, hey, number one, at least they have a YouTube channel. At least they're out there trying to win souls over for Christ, spread the Great Commission. Give them a break sometimes, okay? Um, we're not all perfect. None of us are perfect. I, you know, I'm definitely not perfect. You know, only Jesus was perfect. So, love each other, okay? Give give each other a break sometimes, you know? I, I, I have had to stop going on certain people's channels just because they drive me crazy. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean I don't love them in Christ. It's just, I'm just like, oh my gosh, really? Have you even read the Bible? <laughs> you know, your doctrine is so off. But, you know, hey, they're trying it. You know what I'm saying? So, give them a break. I do. Anyway. Um, oh, let me give one more verse at you. This is a good one. And I'll leave you with this one. I'll let the Holy Spirit convict you on this one because I was on the subject and this is the reason I'm making this video is because I, I'm noticing a lot of backbiting on YouTube. A lot of, and, and I've done it myself. Don't get me wrong. Um, a lot of, um, you know, and you cannot agree with somebody. And if you're going to leave a comment on their channel, leave it in love. You know, don't do it accusatorily or pointing the finger at somebody, that kind of stuff. Okay, let's just, let's just love one another in Christ Jesus the way he loved us. Let's let Jesus be our example. Last one, 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. Whoever claims to love God... And yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. I pray this lesson has been a blessing to you. Um, I want to thank all the new subscribers. Um, you have found a channel that will give you truth biblical and scriptural truth um, there are lots and lots of channels out there that are all about dreams and visions you know and only dreams and visions and I know that we as humans we want to know what's going to happen tomorrow what's going to happen next week what's going to happen next year is the rapture going to happen this week is it going to happen th th this year is it going to happen during the jubilee is it going to happen before the end of this year is it going to happen next year uh, the rapture has to happen by a certain uh, year it has to do no 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 my daily devotional it was either today or yesterday you know when you look into the future even past today you're not giving it you're not giving up you're not giving it all to god you know what i mean let him take care of it 
He already goes before you and ahead of you to take care of it all. You just have to trust him. Okay? And when you look into the future and make plans without consulting him and things like that, you can and will pay the price. Um, so anyway, family, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. And I'm praying for you. Pray for me. Um, continue to read that Bible every day. Go out there and fulfill the Great Commission. Make disciples of men. We don't have a lot of time left. No man knows the day or the hour. We don't know when the rapture is going to happen. But we're in the season. Um, there are a couple signs in the Bible we know for sure that God doesn't give us any really, you know, any dates. You know, there's there's very few dates in there you can point to. We know that um, from when Israel became a nation again in 48, we know that we have 70 up to 80 years. So that puts us up to 2028 minus the seven-year tribulation. Um, that takes us to 2021 at the latest. It's still five years from now. The rapture could happen today. Absolutely. Um, and the Bible also tells us when Damascus ceases to be a city and is a ruinous heap, the end is near. Have you seen Damascus lately? Go on the computer and look at pictures of Damascus. People are dying over there like it's like there's no tomorrow. And there is not much left. I mean, pretty much the whole country is in a ruinous heap in shambles. So we know we're close. We know we're in the season. Stay prayed up. Keep looking up because we're going up. Family, I love you. Until we get to talk again, um, I pray that the peace, love, and grace of our Lord and our Savior Jesus watches over you always. Um, get to church. Go show the Lord how much you love him. You know, and if you can't get to church, um, watch it online. So, family, be blessed. I love you. Have a great, great day in the Lord. Bye.